peace. Yo, look like the spring finally came, especially over here. Hey, how you doing? All right, how's everything going? Yeah, where's your bike at? Oh, you know, still got Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. You too, bro. All right. Yeah, but, um, you know, today I wanted to build on just the idea of, um, how to break down the lessons. Yeah, that's what I build about. Um, first of all, it got to be understood that, um, you know, dealing with the lessons or 120 and stuff like that, um, if you want to know how to break them down, you got to get with a person personally who does know how to break them down. You know what I'm saying? It's like, um, you know, these builds that I put up on, on uh, my channel is good. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, if you go over to Original Thought Magazine and register, you could uh, get a chance to listen to some of the uh, audio builds by different guys and nerfs. And uh, you could read articles, you know, different things like that on the Internet as well, too. But, um, like I said, all of these forms of communication are just mediums or routing devices back to the true and living God and earth. So, you know, the main thing is, like, you need to get with a person who actually lives these lessons out, who actually knows how to break them down in real time. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, I've met quite a few people who downloaded it, lessons off the Internet or... You know, somebody just handed them a piece of paper with lessons on it, or, you know, they was maybe been in the Nation of Islam or something, and they got a Supreme Wisdom book and stuff like that. And, you know, it's like Supreme Mathematics is our key to understand our relationship to the universe. So a lot of y'all may have these lessons, but, you, you know, they're locked because you ain't got the actual keys. You know what I'm saying? Our mathematics are the keys that helps us unlock these lessons, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, before you get lessons and before you even get mathematics, the first thing you got to have is a conceptualization of what it means to actually be God-centered, you know what I'm saying? Because none of the lessons will make any kind of sense to you if you don't even really understand your relationship to the universe and the universe's relationship to you, um, you know, um, so... You know, like I said, I've met people who have lessons and things like that, but, you know, when you start getting into the science of cosmology or cosmogony or cosmography, basically the origin of the universe, when you start getting into that, they don't know what they're dealing with. They don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, if, if, if you can't conceptualize your own self-creation and the origin of this universe, you will never understand your origin or place in this world. And a lot of people, and that also means you won't understand your place or origin in these lessons. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when I got knowledge of self, the first thing that my enlightenment took me through is a concept called triple stage darkness. Now, triple stage darkness is basically our cosmogony, you know what I'm saying, or our cosmography. It gives us a sense of our origin as far as the origin of the universe, you know what I'm saying, and, and our uh, the science of being allowed, the science of being God-centered, actual science, actual science. I'm, I'm talking about studying physics and quantum mechanics and, you know, different mathematical uh, uh, theorems and things like that, you know what I'm saying, uh, real math, real science and stuff like that, because, you know, it's like you have to be able to not only conceptualize yourself as creator, and as the father of this universe, but you also have to be able to articulate that. You know what I'm saying? So it's important that you are able to um, study these different sciences, whether it's, you know, like I said, science, mathematics, things like that, different metaphysical things, in order to really conceptualize yourself as being creative. Because if you can't see yourself as that, if you can't see and articulate how you manifested this universe and how you brought forth the physical form and how you took matter to undifferentiated state or substance of reality and you took a photon and manifested this and that and then you born hydrogen and hydrogen yielded a, a, heli, a heavier isotope, which is helium, and then you got the first big bang, theory, bomb, boom, gah, boom. And then you got time man, being manifested in space and then weak nuclear and strong nuclear and then you got electromagnetism and then you got all, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm building about things like that.
that. You know what I'm saying? You have to be able to conceptualize creation. Because if you don't have a, crea- a, 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 a concept of creation, you will never be able to understand your place in this world or your place in these lessons. You know what I'm saying? So some of y'all that God's a nurse or whatever that may already have lessons and things like that, um, if you never got into triple stage darkness, and you should have if you do got lessons. You know what I'm saying? The father's history and the firstborn and all that is peace. But before all of that, before all of that, you have to be able to conceptualize yourself as a law the same way that the father was able to conceptualize himself as a law. You know what I'm saying? And uh, once you have that uh, as the, the infrastructure of the foundation, you acknowledge me, um... Then you can start putting things into proper perspective and understand the sequential order of existence. Because life itself is just basically functioning off of, a, of, of an operating system called mathematics. And there's a mathematical theology based upon creation, you know what I'm saying? Um, everything was manifested the same way you see the periodic table manifesting the different elements, you know what I'm saying? Um, existence itself went through the same sequential process using a mathematical operating system. You see what I'm saying? So different things like that. I'm just throwing some of these concepts at you. Um, things like this is important. You know what I'm saying? If you sit in building with somebody, you know, somebody going to ask you, well, how is you a lot? Make a blade of grass in your hand right now if you a lot. Fly like Superman from Smallville if you a lot and all this other stuff. You got to be able to articulate these concepts and, 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 and be able to um, help a person appreciate what it actually means to be God-centered. And if you don't know yourself, That's a foundation built off straw or sticks or something. And when any little big bad wolf comes by and wants to blow your little belief system down, they're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of so-called guys on earth that have this culture as a belief system. It's not a science because they've never really gone into actual science. They never really study self-creation and things like that. But that is what is of importance. That is the infrastructure of the foundation. Then after you get that down and you're able to actually see yourself as a lie, and when I say see yourself as a lie, I'm talking about if somebody hooked you up to a polygraph or some shit like that, that shit would not be jumping around because you're telling a lie if somebody asked you, was you a lie? Is you the creator of this universe? Yes, you are. You know what I'm saying? In order to actually be able to express yourself like that or be able to be the goddamn polygraph because it is the truth, you got to know what you're talking about. You can't just believe it. You know what I'm saying? And um, like I said, when you have these sciences down, before you get lessons, you can understand your relationship and your place in this world because, you know, it's like uh, now you're going through the actual chronology of being a lot in the form of the physical manifestation of man, you know what I'm saying, or reflected, you know what I'm saying, in the form of, of, of the earth, you know what I'm saying, or the moon talking about the female, you know what I'm saying, you should be able to understand your place in that, so, you know, a lot of y'all have lessons and stuff like that, and you reading through them, and the reason why it is not making sense, and it's not gelling with you, is because you don't have the keys, the keys are supreme mathematics, and, and, and within the keys are keys, if you want to unlock supreme mathematics, supreme mathematics is manifested in the sequential order, the cipher, or all things, as well as nothingness, manifested in knowledge or awareness, you know what I'm saying? When awareness is manifested, it manifested duality, duality, or created duality. That sig- sim- symbolizes wisdom. Wisdom is action or any energy into motion, or sometimes we say emotion because wisdom represents the woman. I go on and on and on. Yeah, maybe as a matter of fact, I'm going to put a build up about how the mathematics is manifested as far as the se- sequence of creation. But like I said, you want to be able to break the lessons down. Get with somebody who's living them out, and they can show you in real time the application of these lessons as you're moving and you're walking because these are the words, ways, and the actions of that knowledge and they can show you how this cipher actually functions. That's 120. Knowledge, wisdom, cipher. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't have a person like that by your side or helping guide you as a brother or a sister and companion in tribulation in the kingdom of patience, it's like you'll never be able to grasp what this is about. You'll never be able to see yourself in these lessons, be able to understand your relationship to all things in existence. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like what I said, get with somebody.
you know what I'm saying, and, and listening to these bills, you know, supplements the education, you know what I'm saying, um, things like that, you know what I mean, um, you know, building with somebody over the phone, that's cool, you acknowledge me, um, different things like that, those are only supplementary uh, parts of education or routing devices back to the true and living. So get with somebody. You want to know how to break these degrees down and stuff like that. Get with somebody personally. Personally. All right? Peace.